In this video, I want to talk about something called Sublime Merge. So it's a new Git client from the creators of a Sublime Text. And since I love Sublime Text very much, it's one of my favorite editors. I especially like the speed of it. I just wanted to test this application out and show it to you guys. So this is a Git client. I don't usually use those. I tried GitHub Desktop and Source Tree, but they always seem very slow to me and kind of hard to work with. Uh, this, as you will see, it's. I think it, it has a different design philosophy. Uh, yeah, I think it's made for someone that is used to uh, using Git from the console. But this, in this way, when using this application, you do pretty much the same things, uh, but you just get much more uh, visual feedback from it. So this application gives you visual feedback from what you are used to doing in the console. Uh, and it's pretty great, I must say. So I will just show you some basic stuff. Uh, I have to say this is a paid application, but you have no time limits for testing it. So test it out. Uh, check out this video and if you like it, maybe buy it for yourself. Okay, so first of all, you just go to sublimemerge.com page, click this download button. If you're on Windows, it's probably going to say download for Windows. Download it, install it and then run it and you would get something like this. So this is Sublime Merge. As you can see, the interface is pretty simple. So what you can do is you can just uh, clone the Git repository or you can create a new repository or open up a repository. Let's clone Git repository and I'm going to clone this one. It's called October View to do. So it's from the series where we did October with view. And I'm just going to copy this URL right here. Go right here, paste it in and just click clone. Okay, so this is your project. As you can see, the interface is very clean. Uh, you can go between the commits uh, by this back and forth. So when, where you were before, so kind of like in the browser, the next page, previous page. Uh, if you click here, you get your stashes, your tags, your remote branches, remotes, and so on. And as you can see, the interface is very, very, very clear. So you have com your commits right here. So let's try to create another branch. So you would just go right here and just uh, do command shift P. So the same like in Sublime Text. So this is one of the most things I like about this uh, Git tool is it's just like Sublime Text. You get this fuzzy search command palette and you just start writing something like branch. And then you get merge branch, create branch, delete branch, rebase and so on. So let's create a new branch and then you give it a name. So new feature and we created a new branch. As you can see, we are on that branch right now. So if you want to check out to the master branch again, we can just do uh, check out, check out branch master. Right, so now we are on master branch. Great. Okay, so let's check out it again to the new feature branch. Okay, and let's just add a new file and we are just going to call it new feature. So touch uh, new feature dot, I don't know, txt. Okay, so we have a new file. And as you can see, we have one unstaged file. So to add that file, you would just do it like you would from the console. You would just do command shift P add, and then you have this command stage all. And as you can see on the right side, it says which command it's going to run. So it's going to run git add uh, dash A. Or, or, or you can have this um, shortcut right here. So shift command A. So I'm just going to say stage all. And now I have one staged file and now I can commit it. To commit it, you would do command enter, but it doesn't let me do that right now because I still don't have a commit message. And if I click right here, commit one file, then it's going to say it's aborting the commit due to the empty commit message. Okay, so uh, I'm going to exit out of that and add my commit message. 
Okay, so this is an awesome commit message. And now I can just do command enter, right? And now uh, my message or my commit is uh, right here. And as you can see, it's a new uh, feature commit. So let's try to merge that branch to the master. So first of all, just like in the console, you would need to check out of this branch. So you do command P, check out. So check out branch and we want to check out to the master branch, right? So we are on a master branch. And as you can see, we have this visual representation of our new feature branch. So what we want to do now is we want to merge that new feature branch to our master branch. So of course, command shift P merge and you have merge branch and it says right here. So if you want to merge new feature branch to the master, it's going to say down here, merge new feature into master. So it's pretty clear what you are doing. And I'm just going to click that. And now my uh, branch is merged to the master branch. And of course, since this is my repository on Git, I can even push to it. So I would just do command shift P push and I will just push this to master origin master, right? So pushing master to origin and this is done. So if I go to GitHub again, refresh this page and as you can see, we have new feature txt txt uh, and of course I misspelled it okay so I'm not going to go in depth with sublime merge just like I said at the beginning of this video this video was made just to make aware of this application and if you like it maybe use it and buy it and so on um, also, just one correction, I was uh, saying that the shortcut for command palette in Sublime Merge is command shift P, but it's actually just command P. Uh, I used command shift P because I use Sublime Text, so command palette there opens up that way. But you just do command P instead command shift P. Okay, so this has been it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel and the content I put out, maybe subscribe to it. And if you really like my channel, you can send some money my way by becoming a patron and using the patron page for that. To more all of my existing patrons, thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.